Are you having trouble motivating your students to think deeply about poetry? I have come across that roadblock many times. I teach sixth grade language arts in a rural town in Michigan. There's a wide range of socioeconomics as well as a wide range of tech ability levels throughout the student population. Many students have computers at home, but some do not. In the school, there are two computer labs in the sixth grade wing, which we can check out when they are available. I have come up with a great way to engage my students in poetry while making it interesting and eye-catching. Here's an example. The next screw that falls out is going to be you. What was that? Eat my shorts. You just bought yourself another Saturday, Mr. Crushed. You just bought one more right there. Would you like to have your students create moving type like this? After doing some research, I learned that most of the examples of moving type you can find on YouTube are done with Adobe After Effects. After more research, I found that After Effects is a good $180. Pass. So what can we do to replicate those results with a tech tool we already have? Repurpose, of course. PowerPoint is usually used for presentations. However, we can repurpose it to create moving type by adjusting color, form, and animations or movement. Let me show you how to do this. The first thing students will need to think about are the words and phrases in the poem and decide which movements are appropriate for each. To give movements, students will use animations. You can find that by going to animations and using these entrance effects over here on the left. Students can experiment with different ones and pick the ones that are best for the words. Students will also need to think about the color and fonts that they use. You find that by going home, colors are over here, and then fonts are right up top. Students can add different text boxes by pressing the insert text right here. They can add different text boxes to one slide or they can have multiple slides. For mine I chose to do multiple slides and I made a new slide for each phrase or line of the poem. You can see as I click through it adds more and more words of the poem. What I did to make sure that all of the previous lines are exactly where they were in the first slide or the slide before it, I used copy and paste so I clicked on um, the most recent slide, pressed Command C to copy it, clicked below that slide, and then Command V, which is paste, and that way I have exactly the same slides, and I don't need to worry about my placement of all of the words. I decided to break up this poem by lines, because this is a free verse poem. I can talk about similar choices I made with animations. I can discuss with students other poetry elements like similes, metaphors, tone, imagery, alliteration, and many more. Here's an example of kinetic topography. A warning. Remove all expectations at the door. Relive the past one more time and then let it go. If your mind is closed, open it. Take your preconceptions and shake them up. Be ready for the things you don't know yet. Embrace change. The world awaits you. After students complete their moving type slideshow, they need to create a screencast. They can use Jing or Camtasia. Students will record their voice reading the poem while clicking through the PowerPoint. To take this activity to the next level, have your students create a Director's Cut Edition where they have to explain the behind-the-scenes thinking, like why they chose the movements and color they did. 
Creating moving text hits the sweet spot of TPIC. It incorporates technology like computers, PowerPoint, a screencasting tool like Camtasia or Jing, microphones, and headphones. Pedagogy, which is hands-on, active learning, designed not only for kinesthetic learners, but also for visual and auditory learners. And content, which is understanding poetry on a deeper level. This activity can be done with famous or pre-written poems, or you can have students use poems they have written themselves. The next time you come across a wicked teaching problem, I encourage you to think creatively and use TPAC as your guide.